be some way of influencing Lord Beasley to fire that flare gun now. Well, you know, darling, there's only one honest way to influence anybody. You're right. <laughs> Bribery. <laughs> Unforgettable. That's what you are Unforgettable Though near or far Like a song of love That clings to me How the thought of you does things to me Never before. I feel like a boy again. Someone and you look ten years younger. Oh, thank you. And you know what did it? It's the spirit of giving. That's true, darling, but you've always had the spirit of giving. I have? Yes, I remember you're distinctly telling me that you gave your partner the business. <laughs> yes, my dear, well, that was uh, something else. Well, I'm terribly sorry, darling, but I'm on the trail of something very, very important. But the professor's wasting his time on a tycoon. No, dear, that's not that's a typhoon, you see. A tycoon, that's a man with money like myself, but... Uh, a typhoon is a big bag of wind. Infested. Never mind what you're thinking. No comment. <laughs> are you, are you not rich enough to be the most beautiful woman wherever you go? Preston, hmm? oh, I'm afraid it's hopeless. Unless, of course, we can convince Gilligan to vote for me. Wait a minute. Do you think I'm the type of man who would try and influence a judge in a fair and square contest? Yes, Thurston. You know me pretty good, don't you? Yes. <laughs> After all, the howl gets what he needs. And right now, all we need is Gilligan. Mm -hmm. thing to do. When I was confronted with a crisis on Wall Street, I used to meet it head on. Well, what are you going to do? The only thing a true howl can do. I'll go to the scoundrels and face them down. Lovey, give me a hand. You take the trunk, I'll take Teddy and my drink. And I got to play the leading man in this play. Well, what's he like, dear? Well, the part calls for someone who has a magnificent physique, ravishingly handsome, marvelous diction. I know who'd be perfect, but too busy directing the play. Unforgettable, Unforgettable in every way. In every way. And forevermore. And forevermore. That's how you'll stay. That's how you'll stay. My dear, what is it? What's a zombie? What's a zombie? Well, it's a, rather, you see, you take five jiggers of rum and then some <laughs> cooling ice and... <laughs> Why do you ask? Well, the professor's just been turned into one. Oh, well, let's go see. Maybe we could do something to help. Yes, we could bring a couple of tall glasses. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? Oh. Fine. <laughs> Oh, you don't carry on so. After all, we're rather new at this war thing. It is. A, don't say this is a war thing. This is not a game. I'm inspecting a base hospital. Oh, poof. Oh, poof. <laughs> very taut, very military. Darling. Well, I always say if you want something done, you've got to do it yourself. Is that true, Thurston? I don't know. That's the first thing I've ever done. Oh, I'm so proud of you, dear. Stand aside. It is an element of danger. The war is so cold. <laughs> Posture will ruin me. Reduce me to a pauper. Well, after all, you have some money here on the island. No oh, money? A few hundred thousand dollars, that's petty cash. Back home, that's interest on my interest. Uh, I'm sure you all appreciate the seriousness of the situation. I'm afraid that headhunters have moved onto the island, and you know what that means. Uh, property values go down like a shot. What are we doing here? Why are we sitting around this hut? Tell me why, why, why? Because the headhunters are out there. I'll buy that. <laughs> we'll be hunted down like frightened little minks. Rabbits. Police. How dare you talk that way in front of my wife? <laughs> oh, what I meant was that this particular type of fuel loses its potency when it gets old. Uh, nonsense, Professor. Haven't you heard? There's no fuel like an old fuel. <laughs> That's what you Made me the happiest girl in the world. <laughs> Uh, come, my dear, let's not lose our heads. I, I just wanted to thank you, Mr. Howe. I'll see you at rehearsal, huh? <laughs> Ta-ta, my dear, see you at the theater. Emotional little creature, isn't she? Yes. And if I were you, I'd wipe her gratitude off my face. <laughs> oh, 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 yes, yes, of course.
is a two-year-old sweet stick ticket worth? Not a cent. But don't tell anyone. It's our little secret. Oh, darling, I always knew you had a heart. Yeah, remind me to speak of the professor. There must be a painless way to turn it back to stone. <laughs> Now, Lovey, this Mr. Barclay can get us off the island, so we must treat him with the utmost consideration. Oh, I intend to, dear. I thought I might even treat him as an equal. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> I must be exhausted making out the invitations without a secretary. I wish there was something that I could do. Well, if it's not too tiring, you could deliver them. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Of course I could. I see you invited them all. <laughs> well, I thought it best under the circumstances. My, my, aren't we being democratic? in a Republican sort of way. <laughs> Is everybody happy? And forevermore And forevermore That's how you'll stay That's how you'll stay Civilization, lovey. Wall Street and the Harvard Club. <laughs> Beauty parlors and steam vans. My bank vault. My mother. Lovey, why did you ruin everything? Thinks that I am unforgettable too.